Hey folks, this is Ryan from ORS Racks Direct. We're talking about cargo boxes today. And here we have Thule's Atlantis 2100 cargo box mounted onto this truck, which has Thule professional truck racks on there. Um, these cargo boxes these days can mount to more than just this type of bar. Uh, they pretty much come ready to mount to any factory crossbar that you've got on your vehicle. Uh, Yakima and Thule square bar, uh, Yakima and Thule bars, these truck racks here. So they're very versatile, and you don't always need to buy a base system, which is a nice thing. The uh, little, little bit about the Atlantis series from Thule, um, these are obviously uh, premium cargo boxes. As far as the material goes, very, very durable, lightweight, and uh, it's ABS and it's UV resistant, so you know the sun won't break it down. It, uh, over the Atlantis, or I'm sorry, the Ascent series, the Atlantis has... A, a more of a sleek profile, so a little more aerodynamic shape to it, and you'll be able to see that when I close it, as well as what's called diffuser technology on the bottom. These channels uh, are, are, are designed into the base of the box to allow air to flow through to kind of reduce the noise that these can cause on the roof of your vehicle, as well as improve your gas mileage. When you have a cargo box on the roof of your vehicle, obviously you're going to decrease your gas mileage, so this helps a little bit with that, and also, the fact that you can take these on and off so easily, it makes you uh, more apt to think to remove the cargo box if you don't need it. And I'll show you how that works right now. So again, we have this mounted on these bars here. The uh, clamping hardware, let me just pull this up so you can take a look, is basically just a big claw, and there's four of them. And until you tighten it, you're able to slide these claws back and forth on a track inside the box so that you can sort of position the claw over the crossbar. Once you drop it on top, you just spin this dial until it's snug. It's that simple. You do that with the remaining three clamps and you are ready to go. It's secure. It's not going anywhere. Undoing it is just a matter of spinning that knob open. So really, if you're, you know, if you're not planning on using your cargo box, taking it off is, is a snap. They do make accessories. Uh, what do you do with your cargo box when you're not using it? Uh, box lifts are available where you can actually you know, hoist the box up into your garage. Um, there's other accessories available as well from Thule. Uh, bags that fit in here to help sort of organize your gear. So you can find those on the product page of these boxes. A couple other features of this uh, cargo box. It has dual-sided opening. Right now I've got it open on the uh, driver's side. If I were to close it, I would be able to also open it on the passenger side. So that's a nice feature. And the way that it locks is uh, kind of an exclusive Thule idea here. This key cannot be removed unless the box is locked. And they do that so that you are less likely to, maybe you're loading on a late night, you're, you're loading up your box, you're, you're in a hurry, you jump in your car and you take off, the box is wide open. That's happened before to people. Well, a lot of times, you know, if you're, if you're taking off, you might want to make sure that your, your cargo box is locked. So the fact that you can't take the key out will help remind you that you've got to ensure that the box is closed. So until you close it, you can't take the key out. Once you do, however, the key can be removed. Now, when you close this box, be careful. You know, this material... Is, is a little bit flexible, and I mean, once it's secured down, it's solid, it's not, it's not um, you know, gonna fly off the roof of your car, um, but because it's flexible, it, when you pull this box down, especially if you're using this strap here, um, this little plastic nut, there's three of them that fits into a little channel on the inside, might end up popping on the outside of the box. You might not be able to see it on the film, but you can definitely, you, one thing, you won't be able to lock the box, so that should indicate that something isn't right. When you do have it correctly, there's your strap, let's stick that inside. You can really feel it sort of click into place, and then the key will come out. So this helps to make sure that you do, in fact, have the box locked securely and closed. Um, these boxes are available in silver and black. And as far as sizes go, this is, again, the 21 uh, foot cubic foot box, the largest of all of them. There's a 1,200 capacity. Of 1,600 and 1,800 and a 2,100, and uh, so 12, 16, 18, and 21 cubic feet of space. Make sure that you look at the dimensions on the uh, product page for these boxes. This box is the largest. Um, as you go down the line, they don't necessarily 
change in sort of height, they change in, in sort of overall dimension. Some are shorter, some are longer, wider, taller. So if you're carrying skis, you want to make sure that you have a box that's long enough to carry skis. If you're just carrying luggage, you might not need a box as long. Uh, the box might be wider, it might be taller. So think about what you want to carry before you pick the box uh, that you want. And I uh, guess that's all I have to say about the Atlantis 2100 from Thule. Thanks for watching.